Well, thank you so much. Um, I first want to say how honored I am for being nominated for this award. Uh, this opportunity to hear the enthusiasm and experiences of my colleagues is exciting, and I'm so proud to stand beside them all. While we have been privileged to be able to transition to remote courses and continue working, uh, teaching during a pandemic has not been easy, and I hope this collection of stories and reflections demonstrates the care we have as a faculty for our students. My particular area of specialization is quantitative methods in psychology, uh, which broadly speaking is a discipline that requires a high degree of statistical literacy. And this is a fact that often comes to the dismay and even horror of my uh, undergraduate students. From my experience as one of the faculty members regularly tasked with teaching introductory to advanced statistical methods to our students, uh, it feels fairly typical for students to view their quantitative courses as a harrowing degree requirement that they must endure rather than something to be excited about. And one of my primary goals as an instructor is to try my best to change that outlook. So how can that be accomplished? First, uh, I believe it is vital for students to see instructors being enthusiastic about their material. Uh, I have fond memories of entering my first intro stats class with apprehension. I was a psych major, um, not math, not computer science. And then being promptly swept away by my professor's energy. He was literally jumping into the air while discussing topics that could be as mundane as the measures of central tendency or as complex as latent variable models. Uh, his fervor was infectious and has stuck with me to this day. Second, acknowledging that the material can be presented in a way that can be personalized. Uh, tradition I adopted from that professor and continue to use uh, is to populate my examples using the names of my professors and my own uh, pet names. The trials and tribulations of Muchi, Tiki, Tiki, Lulu, Maya, all cats, and Hogarth, the dog, uh, always used for outlying cases, uh, live on. And we can be lighthearted. My slides often include many grown worthy memes and puns, and to be inclusive. Uh, to that end, I have thoughtfully inspected my examples and assignments to try to minimize content that might be triggering for students and to embrace the convention of using inclusive language, such as they pronouns in my examples. These small changes uh, have been noticed and appreciated by my students. Third, I try to make use of modern tools for teaching. Uh, concepts are often demonstrated using a variety of interactive applets that let students play with the data and see how changes to the data affect various models and visualizations. I found many students struggle when presented with just formulas to memorize, so incorporating other modularities through interactive graphics, data simulations, videos, and web links uh, really helps them grasp the concepts. Finally, I draw upon and discuss experiences I've had working outside typical academia as a psychometrician with multi-health systems, a statistical consultant with a varied array of clientele, as a tutor during my graduate studies, and so on. I draw upon these experiences to really highlight to students how broadly applicable and useful the skills I'm trying to apart them on them can be. So in summary, why do I care about teaching? Without those experiences during undergrad, seeing that enthusiasm, I would never have ended up on the path on which I now find myself or been swayed to the quant side. I care about teaching because I feel like it is possible to instill in our students a passion for learning, adopt critical perspectives, and promote open and inclusive environments through our examples of how we lead our classrooms. I hope to demonstrate this to my students, even if they might approach the courses I regularly teach with similar trepidations to those that I once did.